first order of business, if I look like a nematode today, it's because I took a shower and my hair is wet. But have no fear, as the video goes on, my hair will continue to dry. Gotta do a little scrunch action, got the Cantu in my hair, alright? Number two, as far as I know, I am the only person on YouTube, quite frankly, in the world, to hold a Shure SM7B. Why? Because it's a power move, I mean, look at this shit. Today we're going to watch LA's Professional Socialites. It's a video published by Vice, it's got about 200,000 views, some people may have reacted to it already? I don't know. It is no surprise that I hate LA. I'm not talking about the physical location of Los Angeles. I'm talking about the people that have made it a dystopia. You see, I'm from New York, all right? I'm an East Coast, Beast Coast kind of guy. West Coast, miss me with that bullshit, all right? A lot of the videos that I make on this channel, there's like a, there's like a meter, right, of cringe, and sometimes the video that I'm reacting to or making jokes about falls all the way to the right. It's too cringy to watch. I get some comments saying, Phil, I can't make it through this video. You know, nothing against you, but I just can't sit through it. We're in this together, all right? I'm watching this video now with you guys, and then I have to watch it back about 50 times, just like my other videos, as I edit them, okay? I'm this close to breaking down mentally, all right? You can do it. Rub some barbecue sauce on my titties, let's slap that space bar and jump into it. My name is Sergio Farias. Becoming part of the LA scene is something that I always did want since I was a little kid. I would go through magazines of like Vogue and I would watch The Hills and I'd be like, oh my God, wouldn't that be so cool to be going to those places? So right here, this is the protagonist of the video. Or a supervillain, depending on which way you look at it. They're saying he has 51,000 followers. Nothing to scoff at, right? He's a little mini-influencer like myself, but I think they made a mistake. This man has over 500k, okay? He's a little bit bigger than this. When people throw parties, they want, like, the best-looking people, and I think that they know that I could deliver that. <laughs> Why is it just never a good idea to hype yourself up when it comes to good looks? Let other people tell you that you're really handsome or you're super hot, you know what I mean? Never just come out of the gate unless you're an absolute Adonis saying, yeah, you know, I could deliver the best looks around at any party. <laughs> it's just not a good move. Nowadays, everyone wants to be Instagram famous, and it's just like, it's a promotion. You're like trying to sell this like false lifestyle. I feel like there's something special about me, and I feel like it should be shared with the world. It should be shared with the world. Bro, these selfies are a little rough, okay? I'm not saying anything about the subject, I'm just saying they look like they belong on Facebook in 2007, posted by your estranged aunt that nobody talks to. Sergio and the Spirit Sisters. Why does that sound like an up-and-coming League of Legends champion? <laughs> Shut the f up. Ugh. I hate this. Brought your coffee. Yeah. Of all the beautiful languages and eclectic accents and ways of speaking, this LA poser voice has to be one of the worst. Are you kidding me? It sounds like they have a fucking rusty spoon shoved in their ass. Sergio, wake up! I got your iced coffee! I mean, it sounds painful, dude. There is pain in their voice. Sergio, Sergio, wake up! Oh, you look hot. Thanks. Did you just get back from a guy's house? No, but I look like I did. <laughs> you look like the morning after pill. <laughs> oh, that's not, <laughs> that's not nice. Second of all, she looks fine. Mm, I'm so tired. I hate this. I hate the morning. The mornings are for like ugly people who have to like work. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> this man just said, mornings are for like ugly people that have to work. Well, then I guess you're a little late to work, my dude. My persona on Instagram is who I am in real life. I'm a luxury item at a thrift store, I felt like. What is your morning routine? I wake up, I look at my, like, text messages, and then I look at Snapchat, and then I look at, like, Daily Mail just to, like, see what everyone in the entertainment industry is doing. Shelly, it's open like Ashley's legs. Ew. <laughs> who talks to their friends like that? Come in. Hey, well, well, well. I would hug you, but you smell 8k followers. What a peasant. What an absolute plebeian. You're gonna hang out with someone with 8,000 followers. What a loser. We're making mimosas. Do you want one? Duh. 
Are I'm, you insane? I'm sorry. Look at the girth on that mason jar. This man's pouring a mimosa into a flower pot. How are you gonna spill that? Dude, would you rather drink out of this? <laughs> I think I'll just make you a new drink, my bad. Why do you guys get cute cups and I get that? Because you're an ugly bitch. Trash, what the? You're so good. Well, cheers, queers. Here are some of the great euphemisms that have come out of this man's mouth, okay? You look like the morning after pill. Open like Ashley's legs. You're an ugly bitch. And work is for ugly people. Nice. Nice. Do you still want to go to Venice Beach and, like, walk around? I want to go, but I want more than Dude, this. What is this going to do? Well, we can bring the whole bottle with us. Have a cup of tea. This ain't Vegas, but I'm sure we can get away with it. I can't remember the last time I woke up and decided to walk around. Bro, that is a luxury, okay? Imagine having nothing to do where you get drunk and just walk around. Hello. Hello, darling. Hi, I'm Chloe Holmes. And together, me and Brandy are the Spirit Sisters. I can't. I just can't. I am so out of touch with this entire lifestyle. It's making me lose brain cells. These people actually exist. I don't know where they get their money from or how they support this lifestyle, but so far, I already know where this is going. They're gonna fucking dance. They're gonna go to parties. They're gonna have no real world problems. I don't post like boring photos. I don't think Brandy does either. No. It usually has to be an interesting subject. The idea is making fantasies become reality. I want to make sure that your eyes pay attention like your okay. eyes aren't burning. My so. face is starting to itch. Well, get used to it. You know, in my next life, I want to be born as an LA dystopian NPC so that when I wake up in the morning, I just get to play with cameras and glitter with my boys. Like, what is this lifestyle? <laughs> Repopulate Mars is a party that we do with my boyfriend, Lee Foss. It's very futuristic, alien themed. You'll go there and everyone's dressed up in robot, futuristic, cyborg, alien attire. And then we design the outfits. So it's always when you go like a whole kind of like art show. So they just have like their own version of Burning Man, except it's robotic aliens. This is pretty dope. I have so many questions like. Have you seen Star Wars? That's kind of the vibe. There are lots of different parts to making those costumes. Lots of troubleshooting goes on. That's yeah, sure. troubleshooting, solving the troubles, working from the troubles. Why do I not feel bad? <laughs> I'm such a people's person. I always like to be surrounded like by people. Having people around me is like my security blanket. You know, I just want to say cheers to life. Some for me, and some for my homies. Jesus Christ. Who is friends with this man, and why do they stay around him? <laughs> you suck at taking pictures. I want a rematch. And you suck dick. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> oh, roasted. Got him. Ready? Mm -hmm. You look so cute. I know. None of you are actually friends. Stop lying to each other, okay? I got a text from Brandy and Chloe. Who are they? Um, they like want to meet you to come over and chill by the pool. Are you going? I don't know. It's either going down or it's not. I don't know. They have 3,000 followers. Uh, uh. What up? Hi. Hi, guys. What's up? Hi. <laughs> How are you? So, what do you guys do? Um, I'm building a lifestyle brand right now, so like I'm collecting all like my photos, but I'm just in school for business. Yeah, so cool. you love it. Yeah, like I'll talk to like the least ghetto person. They'll come up to me and be like, <laughs> "Hey, what's your name? Do you have Snapchat?" I'm like, "Yeah, I do." And like we'll follow each other. So I'll have like one minion. Like I'll like collect a minion. A minion. He's referring to people that he meets as minions, followers. Yeah. But they'll be like, "Did you follow me on Instagram?" I followed him like. Mm -mm. Is this a bit? Yo, I think I'm getting duped. I didn't know people could be this unlikable. I really didn't. I think I was sheltered. You know, you get your typical influencer, but then this is a whole new breed of asshole. You don't want to be caught following a minion? Mm -mm. Sergio is a character. He just needs to grow up a little <laughs> bit, and that's all it is. He needs to grow up a little bit? You think? This man needs a whole fucking renovation. <laughs> We do like a party that's like super futuristic and stuff. 
Oh, cool. When's that? The next one's next Saturday. You should come. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. But you have to dress up. You have to be like futuristic or alien vibes. Where do you find like alien stuff? Our biggest inspiration is Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot? Yeah. <laughs> what? I think the alien theme is desperate. Maybe if they were like eight years old, like I'd be like, oh my God, an alien party? We have to go, you guys. An eight year old has more drip than you, my guy. Your clothes are whack. Stinko de Mayo. I can like put it in my braid. Yeah, that's tough. I don't like that smell, you guys. Yeah. It's incense. It's and good for like your soul. Smell. This man really just whipped out a tactical bottle of perfume, which reminds me, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. I absolutely love Manscaped because they offer the best tools and solutions for the big three odor zones, your body, your butt, and your balls. They also just launched their new Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof electric trimmer. With the new performance package, you guys never have to worry about a multi-step complicated grooming routine. I do all of my grooming in the shower with the Lawnmower 4.0. The LED light on this thing lights up the way so that I can groom myself confidently and without any mess. For that midday refresher, be sure to pack your Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray with cooling aloe vera and anti-inflammatory properties. The new Performance Package 4.0 bundle includes the Weed Whacker, which is a nose and ear hair trimmer. This thing is an absolute game changer. No more stray hairs hanging out your nostrils or ears. For a limited time, you guys will not be getting just one, but two free gifts when you order the new Performance Package 4.0. The Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. Head on over to manscaped.com today to receive 20% off your order, free international shipping, and two free gifts when you use promo code Filion at checkout. Your balls will thank you. He like has this like, I don't give a f mentality. You can maybe not give a f or you have just a little bit more like respect for other people, whether you give a f or not. So I think what's happening here is that Vice met the two most whack people in LA and they're like, you know what? You know what's a great idea? Let's put them together and see if they get along. And now we have this video. Bunny, say good morning. So a lot of people don't know this, but rabbits and bunnies can actually be potty trained. If these are not potty trained, imagine how many turd nuggets you would find in this bed. <gasps> Where'd you get inspiration from? I get inspiration from a lot of things, like taking ideas that are completely like out of left field and like forming them into the idea that we have in our minds. Where is this going? Why does this woman's morning routine consist of sink washing her bunnies? You'll see what I'm talking about. I feel like there's something that I might not know about myself that I haven't discovered yet. I feel like I'm a girl trapped in a guy's body, so I kind of like feel like the women's vulnerability. Are you guys on your period? Are you on your period? <laughs> Why are we being mean? No, I'm just asking. I just have like this really like period feeling. That, like, you guys <laughs> Bro, this man just ate out Cosmo and Wanda from Fairly Odd Parents. Holy shit, he's got glitter on his teeth. The Sergio brand is just always looking your best and having beautiful people around you, selling this like false lifestyle. Cause I don't always just hang out with pretty people, you know, or what people may think, you know, I have like my normal friends, you know, I don't post pictures with them, but I have them. You will not post a picture unless it's with somebody pretty. Imagine having this much of an inflated self image where you are the most unlikable person ever captured on video, where you think lesser of people and that you can't be seen on social media with them because they look a certain way. I met them through mutual friends. Ellie and Chloe and Zoe who, they're gonna be like, who's that? Who's that hot guy with those two hot bitches? I'm just gonna keep telling myself that this is a bit. This is not real. This is not real. I'm really excited because people dressed up this time. It's usually kind of hard to get random people to dress up, but I think because Repopulate Mars is becoming such a little movement, everyone's dressed up and it's really exciting to see that. More people are catching on, which makes me really happy like when people like step out of their element. They didn't let me in unless I put these glasses on, all right? 
¿Qué? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Sin novio? ¿Ni nada más? ¿Ni nada más? ¿Qué hago? Who are we? Who are we? Huh? Huh? You know who we are? Yes, yeah, stroke my little social media ego. Huh? Who are we? I gotta put these back on. I can't fucking see straight. My reason for going to Chloe and Zoe's party. This looks like the most basic group of people. Nothing about them screams, wow, I wanna be your friend. I think that's very, like, inappropriate. They're, like, in their late 20s throwing alien parties. Like, get the fucking out of here. So what are the odds do you think you'll have a good time? I would say one out of ten. Were they paid by Vice to be this shitty? I need to know. Like, I just hope this party turns out to be fun or somewhat okay or tolerable. <laughs> this man has 3,000 followers. You can't be seen here. <laughs> You're not repopulating shit, my guy, with 3,000 followers? Pathetic. At the end of the day, you're this tiniest little speck in the universe. Speck in the universe. Speck in the universe. Speck in the universe. <laughs> to go outside and look at the stars and realize how insignificant you are insignificant you are insignificant you are insignificant am i the only one that thinks that this party looks whack <laughs> all of our friends are here it's really exciting that they came to support us none of these people like each other at all i guarantee it <laughs> Uh, the party sold out, so I think there's a lot of people downstairs still, but unfortunately, there's not really much that we can, we do. can do. Can I help you guys? Is this the alien thingy? The what? The alien thing. You guys have tickets or? Um, we're with like Brandy and Chloe. Yeah, who? Brandy and Chloe. Who's that? Exactly. Same. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nobody knows who the fuck they are. I don't even know why we're here right now. Sergio Farias? Is it just the three of you? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Well, so you guys, you're not on the list, but I'm gonna let you in, okay? Okay, thanks. Just need your IDs. 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 You know, when you go out to a bar and they yeah, ask you for IDs. Yeah, but I thought this was like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I need to see IDs. Bro, imagine being the door guy to one of these parties, okay? You really woke up and decided, hey, I'm gonna manage this whack-ass party for a living. This is so embarrassing. Usually, if you're gonna invite someone, you let them know, yo, this is how it's going down, do this, do that. And I followed every instruction they gave me, but it wasn't very accurate. Just about the only point that this man makes throughout this entire video is that if somebody invites you to a party and that you're not getting let in, Odds are, I'm not gonna come back and party with you. I feel like the movie um, Legally Blonde where they tell her to go to the party as a playmate and nobody's dressed. Mm, it is what it is. Next time. Something tells me they did that just to try to humble him. I mean, there's levels to this LA dystopian influencer nonsense and they just kind of played him. Like, we wasted a lot of time to make an effort to even, like, come to this party. And we're not dressed like aliens, because I'm sure aliens... We don't even know what aliens look like, so aliens... They could... Everyone could have been an alien. Haven't you seen Men in Black? Bro, you're dressed like an alien right now. This was a better outfit than what you showed up to the party with. <laughs> they literally have 10,000 followers! <laughs> Imagine thinking you're hot shit with 10,000 followers. I'm not here to shit on anyone's following. I'm here to shit on the idea that your following actually matters. None of these people are dressed like aliens or robots. I'm so confused. Hollywood's a very small town. And when you talk bad about someone behind their back, they're bound to find out. I've had a lot of people in my life kiss my ass to my face. And as soon as I turn around, they're whispering behind my back. I guess some people are so desperate to make it out here, they'll tell people whatever they want to hear or say outrageous things for attention, even if they don't mean it. You know what I find super ironic? The people that talk badly about LA are the bad people in LA. Oh yeah, everyone's so fake, you know. I gotta just escape LA. You're the problem! You're the fake one! Those girls of Brandy and Candy, whatever their names are. They Dude, literally they literally had this bullshit party. 
No, they had this bullshit party and then we had a bar. Even there. At a bar. <laughs> They're so mad. <laughs> I don't judge people like people think I do. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I like. I could see how you would have a good heart, but then you like do stuff where I'm like, you God, do so me. You do, but you just put up an exterior for whatever reason. Yeah. For the sake of not being. But if someone didn't know you, I could see how they would think you're like a an bitch. asshole. Yeah. I guess. Yo, I think I figured it out. Everyone in LA talks with their chin. Okay, check this out. Yeah, it's not that you're like an asshole. It's just that like people don't know you that well. You see? I got it. Growing up, I was very bullied in eighth grade. I was like the first person to shave my legs and people were like, look at that faggot or like whatever they may have said at the time. Like I would just start to make fun of myself. Like I use humor as a way to like escape reality. So I just laugh things off and it's just like normal to me now. Yeah, but now you're a bully. You see how that one works? Why don't you, I don't know, take a look in the mirror and maybe break the cycle and maybe people would actually hang out with you because you're a nice person at heart. But as of right now, that's not how it's gonna go over. So I'm having like my own party, creative idea that I'm having and it's an Eyes Wide Shut themed party. It's inspired by Stanley Kubrick's movie, Eyes Wide Shut. I just want all my special friends to be there, everyone who I support and supports me. So after being given the cold shoulder by the Spirit Sisters, our boy is going to make his own party, okay? I'm having a party at this like dope ass place, it's in Hollywood, it's called The Blind Dragon. And it's an Eyes Wide Shut theme party. You know the movie Eyes Wide Shut? It's so f hot. And like, um, it's like for like, I'm launching my like vlog, my lifestyle vlog. And you have a blog? Yes. <laughs> you have a blog? <laughs> well, I don't communicate with you because you don't call me. So last night I went to this party for this girl, Chloe and Zoe or whatever. I, Chloe and Mandy, I, I forgot their name, whatever. And like they invited me. I think it was a pity invite, like a pity, f but it, I don't know. This girl's facial expressions say it all. It's just a constant state of. Why am I here right now? Hey, is that why you want to have a party as well? Like you just came up with this magical blog so you can upstage them? <laughs> Listen, I'm not like that. Yes, you are. <laughs> You 100% are. That's why you're having a party. But I want to have a better, I just want to be like, I have, I'm having a better party and it's like, mine's going to be chicer, sleeker. It's, it's <laughs> oh no, no, get the fuck out, run. You better not pay for this party. Please, for the love of God, stop enabling this kid's behavior. Please. You don't have jobs. You don't have money. You don't have nothing. Exactly. <laughs> So, don't pay for his party. Okay, it's a slow process, I must agree, but it is working, I promise. It's a work in progress. What, what, what is that hug? <laughs> what do you do with these photos? We are- Looking at them. Going to use them as promotion on Instagram. Oh, he brought people that didn't have an ID or something. We didn't hear about it. Uh, probably a good thing. I had, like, a, had a couple friends that were at the door, too, and didn't get let in. How are you going to invite friends to your party and not let them in? That's not going to make them want to come back to your next party. So so I did dress up. Oh, did. we did? Did you show the, him not getting in? Uh, yeah. You filmed him not getting in? You guys are f***ing brutal, dude. <laughs> I'm losing patience. I feel like a fucking boomer when I watch these videos, man. I'm 23 years old, okay? I shouldn't have to explain how to act like a normal human being. I keep tallying. I'm like, this person came, this person came, this person came, this person did not come, f her. This person did not come, f her. That's f up. This person didn't come, so F them. Yeah. That's healthy. Healthy. Very healthy. I haven't seen you in forever. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Ooh, you smell good. Thank you so much. It's all a game. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. A lot of my friends are like already like Instagramming like videos and stuff. So it's good publicity because a lot of these girls have like a big following on Instagram, like, you know, 20 plus. So help promote 
the brand. Yo, when you use people for the sole purpose of promoting your brand, odds are you're not gonna have really close friends. I really love LA because I'm from here, so I think a lot of the people that aren't from LA come here with this idea in their mind that's so super glitzy and glamoury, and they end up partying too much and wasting all their money and having to go home. So how do you support this lifestyle? <laughs> I feel like Sergio's young and just trying to find himself maybe a little too judgy. I think his, like, priorities are a little off. There is no normal person in this video, besides the family that came to see him, that I can relate anything to. Investing all this time and energy and, like, my time is precious. It's like at the end, everyone just leaves and it's, like, sad. Like, dying alone is just so scary to me. We don't die as a group. It's like, we die alone, we leave alone, and then that makes me scared. After watching this video, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from when I say that LA is a dystopia. It is people like this. If you guys follow me on Twitch at Philly on Live, I guarantee that you will all be allowed to my influencer party. Hey, Philly, I'm pulled up, fuck your bitch. Anybody wanna run up, put them all up in the ditch. Push boys, no go, better back up quick. You punk, don't flop, bitch. You ain't shit.